Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. And may I say Happy Valentine's Day to all of you. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show a couple of simple ideas to personalize your Valentine's card. So, I've got this picture, it's a stock photo. And what I want to do, I want to just put some text. Some simple text but different. So, we need to go and get a font. In this case, I went to dafont.com, dafont.com, and on custom preview, I have written "I love you," and I've done submit. And there, here you can see a preview of many types of um, fonts. In this case, I like this Linda's Lament, and I've downloaded it, and I've got it in my desktop. I'll double click, and I'll just click install, which I've done it before. So, back to our type tool, we're going to find Linda. Where is Linda now? KL Linda, Linda, Linda's Lament. And I'm going to just choose a uh, nice red, but actually I'm going to sample from the flower. And I click OK. And I'll just put, I'm going to write down, I love you and uh, actually I'm going to make it bigger like so like so and I'll just add a bit of bevel emboss not too much and obviously a drop shadow like so and we have very very simple uh, Valentine's card and I'm going to get rid of it this is just one idea I've got another flower in here and the angle well it's not exactly as I want it so I'm going to edit transform flip vertical and uh, now I'm going back to edit transform and horizontal and actually I'm going to back to flip vertical again because I, yeah I think it, it's much better yeah and now we're going to create a new layer I've selected nice red I'm going all the way up here and I've got nice red and I'm going into the shape tools and we can select into the shapes we've got heart and I'm going to click and drag and now I'm going to hold shift to maintain aspect ratio of the heart and there we go we have a heart however it's very very flat so let's give you a bit more of dimension to it so I'm going into layer styles and I'm going into bevel emboss and I'm going to give it a bit more s size soften slightly bring down the size like so it's not too bad I'm going to get rid of the use of global light Depth like so and I'm going to add a drop shadow and it looks very cool so now what I can do is just duplicate this layer and make it something like so um, I'm not uh, well, because I've got show transform controls, I don't need to go into edit and transform or free transform. So you can see the handles if I'll untick that, nothing happens. But if I'll tick and can saves a bit of time. So I'm going to transform. If you don't like the option, just go into edit and transform, free transform. And we've got this lovely heart. And I'm going to add a bit more drop shadow into the other direction and there we go and look at this but you can change the position of both layers like so and now just select text tool and be my valentine there you go and just add a drop shadow I'll just go drop shadow, take the distance down, remove use global light and click OK. Cool. 
but let's go back to our background layer and let's do something different and that is let's draw a heart very cool and now oops in a different layer of course so I've created a new new layer drag the heart hold shift maintain the right proportion and I'm going to on the layer thumbnail I'm going to hold control and as you can see just changes slightly the cursor and I'm going to click it so that will load that shape as a selection so I'm just going into 3D repose current selection well you can convert the heart into a 3D object not only as a 3D you can do it as a path if you like to change s slightly the shape of the heart so in this case I'm just going to click this option here so it's the sixth option and I'm going to mesh quality I'm going for best and I'll click OK now I'm going to into window and 3D and opens the 3D panel and basically what we created the shape and we have uh, something that you can't see like so but when you turn it around you can see these edges so what I'm going to do is very simple I'm going into front inflation select the color go into the red and get the same red like so now I'm going to do exactly the same in layer 2 front, in front bevel uh, I'm going to get the, that bright red and the extrusion material as well and we're going again like so and we're going into the layer 2 back bevel and like so and we're nearly done and finally the back inflation as well so we're going all the way up and get the red there we go and I'm going to hide this for now and now you got rid of it and you can just position your heart somewhere like so maybe duplicate duplicate the layer and just move it like so you have two hearts you can make it I think like this doesn't look too bad and uh, like this and I'm going to select the other one as well and turn it slightly like so and uh, now I'm just going to duplicate duplicate this layer I'm going to open my long layers panel so you can see exactly what I'm doing and uh, now I'm just going to turn it around and I'm going to move it tiny bit more and another and that's it and uh, on this one here one thing when you're doing these sort of things try to name your layers don't do it like me and uh, now I'm just going to duplicate this small heart as well and I'm going to spin it around and uh, something like this and I'm just going to move it in position and turn it slightly to be a bit more realistic like so yep perfect and let's slide it now and we can add a layer mask to this yes we can add a layer mask into a 3d object so that is the layer mask made sure it's selected black transparent I'm going to hold shift like so 
and now I'm going into the other one as well which is this one here and uh, kind of uh, make sure you add a layer mask first so I'm going to this layer select a layer mask and now yes now I can drag like this and drop the opacity and drop the opacity on the other one as well and obviously be my valentine something like this and you have a couple of ideas on how to do it how you can do a card but if you don't have a 3D heart well you can try the other options as well and use your imagination play with it and you'll have some very cool results thanks for watching see you next time and bye for now